Hey, it's Ryan from Sites for Church. You know, I've been making church websites for a long time, and I've visited lots of church websites. And in my opinion, the three most important things on the church website are, number one, your phone number. I think that's what people are looking for more than anything else. The second thing is your order of service. People want to know when your service starts. And then the third thing is I think there needs to be something on the site that's geared for first-time visitors that answers their questions. And to do that, we have created um, a welcome page, and every one of our themes features a welcome page and tries to funnel visitors towards that welcome page. So on the home page, there's buttons that say go to the welcome page right at the top. Uh, everything needs to be funneled towards that welcome page. And we want the welcome page to be something kind of special. We want it to be more than just, you know, a bland um, page. And so in order to do that, uh, we have created this welcome page, this special welcome page base. And I want to explain how this works. So when you click on the welcome page base, let me go back here and show you what it looks like. It looks like a house with a big plus on it. When you click on that welcome page base, you get two tabs. You get settings and sections. Let's look at the settings tab first so I can explain this. Uh, the two things that you're going to see there are the page heading and the featured image. Again, this is one of these one call or one row bases that we have here, and you always know that from the instruction at the top. But new, uh, the, the page heading corresponds to the very thing at the top, and then the featured image is going to be displayed in here or different places on other themes, but it's gonna be this prominent image across the top. And those are two things that you can change yourself using the uh, the settings section. So that's all there is to that. Then when you go into sections, um, I want you to notice some things here. Okay, um, first off we have uh, several rows. And the way that this works is that this is what we would call a banded design. So every band is a section here that goes across and, and down the page a banded design. Let me actually pull up another one of these. Um, just a second here. I think we can see a little better. Okay, so here you have the, the, the featured image that we talked about. We have the, uh, the heading, and then we have different bands. You notice that these different sections are bands. And the way that this works is um, each row corresponds to a band. So we can have, uh, you know, the title is this, the content in Markdown is this, the image, an image is just gonna show on the side and squish this over. Uh, and uh, so what I would recommend is if you wanna use images, if you wanna have an image, I would recommend that you stagger them. You can always have inline images that you add through Markdown. And if you don't know what that means, your site rep will help you with that, okay? but. Um, the images, I would recommend that you have an image on every other one if you want to do an image, not two in a row. I uh, just wouldn't, wouldn't look good, okay? But you have images, and then um, the order, this, this order thing is actually going to go away. The order will just be controlled by the order of this. So if you want to reorder these, you just drag them around. So really simple uh, as far as that works. The main thing that I want you to know is that it's, the bands are controlled by the rows here. And then the other thing is that it always is going to end with a map. It's always going to end with a map. And that map is something that's controlled actually in your church info location base, okay, because it's it's used more than just the welcome page. But it's always going to be a map at the very end. So I recommend that the last thing in your welcome page is something that uh, that references where to find the church. Like in this case, we've got a FAQ, and the FAQ ends with how do I find the church? And then you have the map. Or your last band could be our location. Whatever you want to do. But we wanted to give you this as sort of a starting point, and um, we, want to, we want to emphasize the importance of spending some time making sure that this is a good representation of your church and that this is probably, in our opinion, the most important page on the church website. All right, so that is the welcome page.